Well, Jack Pine Studio is located in the heart of the Hocking Hills, the place you're going to want to stop by. Jack is known for his pumpkins nationally. He does some very creative work, and he has other artists in the gallery. Not only about that, but some of the lessons that you can get right here at Jack Pine Studios. Well, Jack, good to have Jack Pine Studios on the show. Thank you. You know, I love glass blowing. I love the creation. It is, it is an amazing art, and uh, you've been doing this for quite some time, right? Uh, yeah, for about 30 years now. How did you get started in glass blowing? Well, actually, it was, I'm from this region, and I got a uh, scholarship to go to the Columbus College of Art and Design, moved out west to Seattle, and stumbled onto a glass uh, blowing facility out there and fell in love. And it's been a long journey ever since, about 30 years of blowing glass now. So when visitors come down to your studios, what are they going to find? Well, when they come down here, they'll be able to watch all these talented glass blowers. I have about five different glass blowers making a wide variety of products. But what I'm especially known for throughout the country is these hand blown glass pumpkins. So when people come into the gallery, is it all your work or do you represent other artists as well? Yes, we definitely uh, are starting to represent other people's works. So on my journeys, I've, I've done a lot of art shows and in my travels, I developed relationships with a lot of other wonderful uh, artisans and craftsmen throughout the country. And so I've uh, started to ask them to represent their work here. Well, Jack, where can people find you here in the Hocking Hills and uh, check out the gallery? Well, we're not too far away from all the main, uh, the, the main parks down here in this area. And we're open every single day from 10 to 5. Our website is jackpinestudio.com. And our Facebook is just Jack Pine Studios. Fantastic. Jack, thanks so much for being on the show, man. Thanks for sharing this with us. Thank you. Thank you.